it took my macrame string. <laughs> that bad, yeah. Found my Fitbit. Found it. I'm Montana Dana, and on today's episode of Girl vs. Van, I deep clean my sprinter and get it ready for a very fun, stop motion filled van tour. Subscribe for daily videos. Good morning, friends. Today, we are in the beautiful, mountainous Livingston, Montana. I'm actually at my dad's house. I'll be here for a few weeks. It's family reunion time. Mm. Mac is a little dewy this morning. Look how pretty my dad's house is though. It's ridiculous. He built it with his bare hands. It's like we're at a damn resort. It's so nice just to walk a few feet and have coffee and bathrooms and showers accessible. It's quite lovely, really. Oh, a pup is so old. She can't see or hear and she can hardly walk. I'm so sad. Anyways. I can usually see some wildflowers just like wandering around here. I've seen deer and elk and black bear up the mountain ways. My little brothers used to ride that down the mountain and wait for the bus in the morning and they saw mountain lions in the brush once. Yeah, f that. Wildcats is where I draw the line. And moose can be pretty aggressive as well, so you do not want to approach them. It's a beautiful morning and the birds are here for it. They are happy about it. It's weird, everywhere I go, I've seen a hummingbird. I've seen one every day for the last like seven days. It's pretty cool. I'd probably move back to Montana and it's so beautiful. There's a lot of hiking. It's just that eight months of winter thing. Not gonna do it. Not gonna do it. What I am gonna do is make some coffee. And yes, I slept in my van last night. I have a totally comfy queen bed waiting for me up there. And I still get ready in my van. Everything I need is in here. Like I'd rather just sleep in here and get ready in here. That way I don't have to cart all my shit inside. It did get down to 40 last night. I woke up this morning, my nose was a little frosty, but other than that, it was good. I do have some K-cups I'm gonna donate to my dad's house. Cause they have a little K-cup coffee machine. Look how much space this is gonna free up in my cupboard. I have like two of these huge things full of K-cups. So I'm gonna just take these inside and that'll be perfect because we have a bunch of guests coming. You think I was afraid of running out of coffee? <laughs> Actually, this is just what I had in my pantry. That's how much I love coffee. So today, sorry, I'm stuck. I have six inches of space to get out of my vehicle. Okay, so I've been trying to film my van tour for a month now, a whole month. I get it so clean and ready to go. And then within like 13 hours, it's a disaster again. So I'm gonna try again. I'm gonna clean everything. I'm gonna wash all my blankets. And we're gonna film that van tour today. I feel like it's gonna be a really short tour. It'll be fun. We'll have fun. Oh, poor Bubby. Come on, Boo Boo. Come on, Bubby. Come on. You can hardly hear me and she's blind. Come on, Boo Boos. Oh, good girl. Come on. Oh, that's a good girl. That's a good girl. So I'm in charge of cleaning the house, getting it ready for guests. I'm gonna make the beds, clean the windows. I also wanna like make a cute little coffee station. Um, hello. I'll probably bring in my here because there's two coffee stations so two people can make coffee at once. We're gonna have quite a few guests. Look at this. I have to go to Costco and get these cinnamon sticks. Um, life changing. Do I wanna stir my coffee with these every morning? Yes, I think I do. Just making some coffee. Look how cute these mugs are. They're like handmade. I just put all my pods in here and the runoff in here. Now I have so much storage for snacks. And oh my gosh, so exciting. I just finished editing. I have all the fresh shakes. And let's go into L-Town. Damn it, Sedona. Look what it did to my hair, skin, and nail gummies. How am I supposed to grow fresh golden locks with this bullshit? Just cut off a little slice. What do we do? I don't want to OD on biotin. Holy acne, Batman. That is sad. That's like a $15 bottle of vitamins. Ruined from the Sedona Desert. I just took a bite out of it. I'll be fine. I'm getting ready for the day. I'm gonna film my van tour. I changed my mind. We're not going into town. Lord knows I ain't got time for that right now. That video was a monster. I have an edit, so. I'm gonna go see if my dad has a shop back. This carpet is a little nasty, not gonna lie. Got lots of dirt. Pretty sure has a little pee pee on it too. So when I urinate in my venti Starbucks cup, I usually do it right about here. Sometimes it gets a little dripply pipply. I'm doing my best, okay? Leave me alone. So more all the story, there's just a little bit of piddle in my shag carpet, but that's okay. I lost my self-respect a long time ago, so we're not worried about losing that. I am worried about losing sunlight, however, so I need to get my face on. <laughs> Stop it right now, you stop it. Wow. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. It took 
my macrame string. Is that a sign that it's time to actually get a latch for my armor? Come back, come back, Mac. There's a boat, Mac. Come back. Dudes, I thought I lost this in Sedona, score. I just need to get a little band for it. Hallelujah. So this is me filming my stop motion video and I just wanted to demonstrate to you how committed I am to my art. You're welcome. I'm filming my van tour and I feel like it's a little extra. It's a little extra, even for me, it's a little extra. I just had like a lot of coffee today. I'm a little hyped. I've been a little nervous to film it because I feel like your van tour has to be like really polished and everything has to be like perfect and clean. And then earlier today, I wasn't gonna do it because it wasn't perfect enough. And then I was just like, screw it. I'm just gonna have fun with it. I'm definitely having fun with it. So if you haven't watched it yet, you should. I'll leave a link down in the description and then I'll probably forget because I don't have time to do that after editing. So you might just have to search it online. Oops. But what was I getting? I want to make today's video live. Hopefully it uploaded. It was going to take like three and a half hours. Internet speed is my arch nemesis. I want to cry. It's live. Monetization is on. We're good to go. I still have to film a little bit of my van tour, but I'm excited to edit it. I did stop motion. I didn't take myself seriously at all. I sometimes think like van tours are a little pretentious too. Like I just, I think they're funny. No, I think their vans are like immaculate and mine just kind of like thrown together. It's not the greatest van build in the world. So I'm just kind of making fun of myself the whole time, but yay, video's live. Stepping out of my editing coma is all. I've edited two videos today, trying to get ahead. My van tour video is almost done, but it's 9.49. I have not worked out today or really moved my body that much. So I'm gonna do just a quick workout, just to step away from my computer for a little bit. And maybe I'll watch an episode of Outlander. I need a little like me and Jamie time. I'm not even gonna change into workout clothes. I'm literally just gonna do like sit-ups, push-ups, and squats, like old school gym teacher style. I was gonna do the elliptical, but it's not plugged in. Tomorrow I have to go work out. Like I have to go do the stair climber or do a long hike, something. I don't know, do I plug you in? I kind of want to plug you in, girl. She dusty, she needs a little action. I can relate. Um, excuse me, is there an extension cord somewhere? Excuse me, anybody? Oh yes, yes. Yes, yes. Oh, that feels good. In my bare feet, don't even care. I just have to do a little something every day, even if I'm just on here for 15, 20 minutes. It just feels good, especially after sitting and editing, doing a lot of driving. And I'm telling you, it helps with mental health so much to move your body. Get the oxygen flowing, get your heart rate up. Motion creates emotion. Thank you, Tony Robbins, for your words of wisdom. Right now, I'm just gonna answer back all your comments. I try and write you guys back right away, but I have so much screen time already, it's getting a little crazy, but I read each and every one your comments and I'm feeling the love, feeling the support, so I really appreciate it. And if I missed your comment, meet me on Sundays for a live session, two o'clock Mount Standard Time, because I want to connect with you guys. Okay, I'm gonna start breathing heavy now. It's gonna get real awkward. So I'm gonna go. Woo! 32 minutes. I feel so much better. It was like very minimal effort. But if you do it on daily, it's a very big payoff. Physical health, mental health, looking good, feeling good. If you have an elliptical, 
or a treadmill in your basement. I dare you to do it today. Watch one episode of something, it goes by so fast, and then you've got momentum. I've been exercising daily so long now that it's fun for me, and I just feel off if I don't do it. So just taking that little half hour. Oh, it just feels me up. I just wrote you guys back in the comments, and before I knew it, like 23 minutes went by. So just have a little tea. I'm obsessed with cinnamon stick stir things. I'm gonna do that in the van because you can dip this in honey and stir it in here and you can use it like multiple times a day. Oh my gosh, my allergies are so bad here. Ooh, it's itchy. In Wyoming and in Montana. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's the hay or what. I know I have hay fever, but I don't think hay fever is from hay. Who knows? I do know I get to take a bath tonight though. So pretty happy about that. All right, back in the van. I totally forgot I put my bed in couch mode today. So do I sleep at my dad's place, like in a comfy bed? Like I'm not trying to be a hero and sleep in my van every single night, but my bed in here is just so comfy. I love it. I guess we can take like the five seconds it takes to convert it. And if you see my van tour, you know I did a little stop motion of the making of the bed or unmaking of the bed is pretty cute. I've totally slept on this couch a bunch of times. So maybe I'll just do that. I don't know. I'm sleepy, but I'm gonna go in and take a bath. Just came to grab my undies. I'm not putting these undies back on. I can tell you that. I filmed a van tour in 80 degrees and I did 32 minutes on the elliptical. These undies are not coming back on my body. Not gonna lie, the walk from my van to the house is a little creepy because I know there's wild animals. Like I'm freaked out about wild animals. I don't know why. Like there's legit bear and elk and wild cats in these forests. Where I put my keys? Oh, for the love of God. Ha ha ha, hashtag best and life. I always lose my keys. Back here on the table. Oh. The moon is so pretty tonight. I wish you guys could see it. Oh, sweet domestic baby Jesus. A bath. <laughs> I could cry. I could really cry. Well, I feel like a brand new woman. I don't know, do I sleep in this king size bed? What do we think? Let's give a little, let's give a little test. Oh, shit, that is comfy. I don't know, maybe, maybe tomorrow night. I just wanna sleep in my van, so that's what I'm gonna do. I have to go out there to get my pajamas anyway, so I might as well just sleep out there. Some of you were telling me to leave my crystals out in the moonlight to charge them up with positive energy and such. Like, what exactly does that mean? Like, put them out in the grass? Put them on my rooftop? How do I charge them up? What do I do? Oh, I'm glad I came back in here because I left the lights on. That would have been unfortunate in the morning. Just plugging in my lights. Fairy lights, yes. Oh, so many pillows. This is not the most comfy futon on its own, but with that mattress pad that's back there, it's quite comfy. Do I need apocalypse socks? If you guys saw yesterday's video, you know the ridiculousness that ensued there. Yes, I think we will do apocalypse socks tonight. It's supposed to get down to the 40s tonight, so gonna want to bundle up a bit. There we go, we got our apocalypse socks. Ready for bed. My carpet is so fuzzy and cushy. I got to use my dad's shop vac today. My dad is like a really heavy duty shop vac. I was digging it. So one thing I'm really excited about being in cooler weather is I get to start playing my piano and recording music. I have to be in the van to be able to do that and it's been way too hot. And just a reminder, I do my live chat on Sunday at 2 p.m. Mountain Standard Time, which I wanna know what time that is your time maybe there's a better time to do it for everyone so well that's it for today's video if you made it this far in the video i want one of you to choose the comment so whoever is first on this video right now write a word that had to do with the video and then everybody copy that comment i'll pin it at the top so you guys know which one it is i totally used my bra as a hair scrunchie hashtag bam life okay if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you loved it share it with your friends we'll see you tomorrow